the iPhone 13 has a pretty similar design to iPhone 12. Okay, so when you say pretty similar design, okay, uh, then you uh, people will have a picture in their head. Contohnya, uh, dia akan tengok, oh, okay, uh, iPhone 12. Uh, semua orang tahu iPhone 12 macam mana. Okay, everyone knows uh, the design of the iPhone 12 because it's already out there before this, kan? Okay, so dah, dah, dah lama keluar. So, yang baru ni, bila awak kata design dia seakan-akan iPhone 12, so people will have that picture in their head. Okay, the picture of iPhone 12. And then you describe the differences. Okay, per perbezaan dia mungkin tak banyak. Maybe you can say uh, the camera design is a little bit different. Uh, so, people can imagine it lah when they read your uh, when they read your article. Okay, so uh, if uh, that's if you want to describe or you want to review a product. Okay, if you are reviewing uh, a, a place, for example, a hotel, eh, for example, you can say, you can describe the location. Okay, you tell the people in your essay, eh, where exactly the place. Uh, is it clean? Uh, is it beautiful? Is it too many people? Is it crowded? Uh, okay, so that's those are the informations that you need to you need to include right um okay so kat situ saya dah terangkan right so let's look at here some of the questions that you might to might want to think about when you are writing uh, a review okay one writer wrote this about a theme park okay the theme park is fantastic it doesn't give the reader much information picture the theme park in your mind and use your imagination to complete the sentence below. Can you think of three more things at the theme park that you could describe? Okay, so, awak tahu dekat situ eh. Dalam soalan yang first ni, dia kata ada seorang penulis ni. Okay, dia menulis berkenaan dengan theme park. Okay, tapi dia hanya tulis kadar tu saja. The theme park is fantastic. That's it. Okay, so macam mana awak nak, awak mungkin uh, menggantikan tempat penulis tu tadi so apakah uh, perkara what are the things that you can include uh, to apa nama orang kata uh, untuk memenuhi kriteria to fill in the criteria of the theme park being a fantastic place okay so uh, there are three things uh, that you can include here okay boleh letak tiga benda lagi so Ha, kat situ ada, ha, dah ada dia punya sambungan awal ayat tu. It is designed to look like, ha, like what? Okay, so awak boleh tulis dekat situ. What? Okay, ha, siapa nak bagi contoh? Okay, this is about a theme park. Okay, remember you are writing about a theme park. Uh, and you want to make sure that the theme park uh, you have been to. Okay, siapa-siapa yang pernah pergi theme park tu. Ha, macam mana kita nak kata theme park tu fantastic? Uh, siapa pernah pergi Taman Tema? Any of you have been to a theme park before? Theme park tu Taman Tema eh. Uh, boleh jadi uh, team, uh, water theme park or just the normal theme park yang ada apa tu? Uh, yang ada merry go round tu kan? Yang apa tu? Roda yang tinggi tu uh, and ada roller coaster. Uh, and ada a bunch of other rides. Okay, ada apa uh, permainan macam-macam permainan ada. Okay, so those are theme parks. Okay, taman, taman tema. So, uh, macam mana awak nak describe taman tema yang fantastic? Three things that you can include. Okay, so the first thing is designed to look like white. Uh, okay, maybe if you ask me. Uh, the theme park is designed to look like um, uh, maybe a, uh, apa nama, uh, kalau Legoland, dan contohnya siapa pernah pergi Legoland, uh, it, it is designed to look like a Lego city, for example. Okay, Legoland lah, contoh paling senang kan. Okay, so siapa yang pernah pergi Legoland tu, uh, tahulah eh, it is designed to look like a Lego city. Uh, bandar yang diperbuat daripada Lego. Uh, okay. 
Ha, siapa yang tak pernah tengok Siapa yang tak pernah pergi Lego Land tu ha, Boleh google eh Macam mana gam, ha, macam mana ha, situasi tu Okay another thing that you can include Is the surrounding Okay ha, So what makes it fantastic ha, Aside from the design that ha, That that apa That is designed to look like a Lego city You can also say that um, ha, Boleh juga cakap yang Uh, the place um, apa eh, has a many type of rides that you can uh, that you can play uh, contohnya okay uh, the place has a lot of activities uh, that would keep you entertained contohnya eh ada banyak benda ada banyak activity yang boleh menghiburkan Uh, pengunjung contohnya kan okay? uh, So ada tiga perkara So three things uh, that you can use To describe a place So the theme park is fantastic So uh, macam saya cakap tadi Kita uh, ambil contoh yang paling mudah Legoland lah eh Because Legoland is an example of A theme park Okay so uh, first we talk about The design Okay this design to look like A Lego city uh, And then uh, You can do a lot of things there uh, And uh, There are also a lot of activities To keep you enter Entertain uh, Contohnya eh? So those those are the things that you uh, You use to describe a, a theme park Okay what about um, uh, What if we We want to talk about Uh, movies contohnya okay? uh, Apa cerita yang semua orang dah tengok uh, Cerita terbaru yang semua orang dah tengok kat sini Apa dia What is an example of movie, a movie that everyone here watch, had already watched hmm, Contoh kelas Ada tak Leo Tak ada orang nak respon Free guy Saya belum tengok lagi lah free guy Ada yang dah tengok free guy Ramai yang dah tengok free guy kat sini Kau nak awak kata free guy Jungle cruise Pun belum tengok lagi Ada yang dah tengok jungle cruise Um saya rasa cerita yang uh, you all probably dah tengok uh, uh, Fast 9 Semua orang dah tengok Fast 9 hmm, Ke ataupun uh, ni uh, Cerita Avengers lah senang cerita Cerita yang lama sikit kan yang semua orang dah tengok lah eh. Okay we we uh, we take Avengers for example Avengers movie eh Okay, so uh, right, uh, uh, a writer is writing about a movie. Okay, the Avengers movie is fantastic. Okay, so um, uh, how do you describe a fantastic movie? First, you talk about apa awak bercakap tentang uh, cerita tu berkaitan apa, kan? The movie is about uh, a group of Superheroes are uh, fighting, uh, apa, fighting uh, a villain and his army, for example. Uh, okay, the villain's name is uh, Loki, for example. Then, okay, and then uh, what makes it fantastic? Okay, aside from the storyline, kan? Uh, you can say that uh, the the graphics are very good. Okay, it looks very real at times, kan? Uh, the animation uh, looks very nice, okay, very polished, okay, and and also um, apa orang kata, and uh, the storyline is good, okay, it's uh, it's very entertaining. Uh, so that's how you describe a uh, a movie lah, contohnya. Eh. Okay, moving on. Okay, so here's another writer thought. Uh, Another writer thought a hotel breakfast was very good and wrote this description. Does it need such a long list of food items? Use the help below to rewrite it. 
Okay, so kalau awak tengok kat sini eh. Yang ini dia, uh, apa so, penulis ni bercakap tentang uh, ni, uh, sarapan pagi di sebuah hotel. Okay, so they serve lots of fresh food including bread, cheese, yogurt, fruit, cake and sandwich as well as the best coffee I have ever tasted. Okay, so um, uh, macam mana kita nak ringkaskan ni? Eh? Um, underline the two main points the writer uses to justify his opinion of the of the breakfast. Okay, so uh, dua perkara uh, dua perkara utama. Okay, yang menyatakan bahawa uh, apa yang menunjukkan bahawa breakfast eh uh, sarapan pagi yang terdapat di hotel ni adalah yang baik. Okay, uh, uh, apa sarapan pagi yang apa orang kata uh, dia punya kualiti dia baik lah. Okay, so kalau saya tengok dekat sini, okay, senarai ni terlalu panjang, so you don't have to include uh, this sort of thing. You can just uh, apa? You can just say uh, they serve uh, a lot of uh, apa variety. Uh, they serve a, a variety of food for breakfast. Okay, semua so orang tahu makanan jenis uh, makanan apa jenis apa yang kita makan for breakfast kan? So you don't have to you don't have to describe, you don't have to tell every single one of them. Okay, tak perlu sebut satu-satu. Okay, so, we can just say, um, apa orang kata, uh, they serve a lot of uh, fresh food uh, with many varieties. Uh, okay, uh, apa, including, uh, maybe kalau awak nak letak pun, including uh, coffee, uh, contohnya kan. Okay, letak satu saja contohnya. And the food, aside from fresh, they also uh, have a very nice taste. Uh, apa, rasa kan, selain dari fresh, uh, selain dari fresh, rasa dia pun sangat menarik kat situ. So, dua perkara pertama, two main points uh, that the writer want to highlight is the fresh food and also uh, a, a food with good taste. Okay, uh, rasa yang sedap. Uh, itu dua perkara eh. So yang lain tu uh, all of the details, well actually if it's not too long uh, boleh je tulis. Okay, but you don't have to be super detail about it. Macam saya cakap tadi lah kan, dekat atas tu dia punya maklumat tu mesti just nice. Uh, okay, pada saya kalau awak nak tulis contohnya kalau uh, apa nama kalau awak pergi ke sarapan contoh macam ni kan, pergi ke hotel and then you stay the night and uh, in the morning you want to get the breakfast, okay, biasanya hotel ada include free breakfast kan okay? so pada saya yang awak kena highlight ialah perkara yang special something special that you find and uh, that you cannot find uh, anywhere else uh, itu yang awak kena highlight kan, if Kalau tak ada apa-apa special, but at the same time it's good, okay, it's not bad. You can just say, uh, apa, the breakfast is uh, is good. Uh, it's like any other hotel that you uh, that you visit uh, that you can visit. It serves uh, the normal types of food that you would find in a hotel. Contohnya, so bila uh, pembaca eh, when your reader uh, reads it like that, uh, so they know lah. Oh, maksudnya sarapan dia dekat sini is uh, there is nothing special uh, but at the same time it's okay it's proper okay uh, the food is like uh, a normal kind of food that you would expect to find in a hotel uh, macam itulah okay tapi kalau ada perkara yang special contohnya uh, awak dah pergi hotel awak tak pernah jumpa orang serve sarapan pagi uh, contohnya uh, nasi uh, nasi dagang contohnya kan okey dekat hotel tu dia ada serve nasi dagang untuk sarapan pagi for breakfast uh, so that particular thing uh, should be uh, included in your uh, in your review uh, okey uh, highlightkan benda yang special yang tak jumpa dekat tempat lain kalau awak jumpa kalau perkara tu uh, sama macam kat tempat lain so you just say uh, it's a normal uh, type variety of food that you can find in any other hotel. Uh, okay. 
senang tak perlu uh, awak tak perlu nak describe satu-satu because if you are describing satu it could be a bit boring eh okay so using an expression from the language bank uh, on the next page summarize the examples of fresh food they serve a lot of fresh food uh uh, fresh food uh, of many variety and they also have good taste uh, you can say it like that lah or kejap lagi kita akan tengok dia punya language bank ok so kat sini uh, now summarize this list using the other expressions from the language bank water skiing, scuba diving uh, wake boarding Orange juice, milkshakes, iced tea, campsites, hot, hostels, hotels. Okay, so um, macam ni kita nak summarize ni. Cuba kita tengok dekat language bank. Ah, ni eh, language bank dia yang color orange ni. Ah, okay, so kalau food, barbecue, packed lunch, uh, vegetarian, nutritious, healthy, snacks, junk food. So, yang mana paling sesuai? Okay, satu-satu lah kita tengok satu. Water skiing, scuba diving and, and wakeboarding. So, itu under activities. Um, okay, so activities. Uh, maybe you can say water sports. Okay, sukan air kan? Water skiing, scuba diving and wakeboarding. So, those are water water sports. Uh, you can so you can use instead of describing satu-satu ni kan you can use, you can just say uh, water sports for example eh? uh, orange juice, milkshake and iced tea uh, that one I believe it falls uh, it falls under uh, vegetarian nutritious and healthy I think healthy lah eh? uh, healthy uh, beverages uh, apa the beverages? Minuman. Okay, minuman yang sehat. Okay, orange juice, milkshake, iced tea, those are healthy beverages. And last one, uh, campsites, hostel and hotels. I believe this one uh, falls under uh, tents or rooms lah. Eh? Rooms lah kalau tanya saya. Eh? Tents or rooms. Uh, the expression that you can that you can use okay uh, instead uh, instead of saying campsites hostels and hotels there are a lot of rooms uh, and also you can uh, pitch a tent pacak kemah kemah untuk campsites lah eh? uh, hostels dengan hotels tu rooms lah eh? bilik right okay so uh, jelas tak dekat sini Okay, uh, the thing that you have to, the thing that you have to do when you do a review is to not to be too specific. Okay, tak perlu terlalu specific eh. Bila awak nak describe sesuatu tu, uh, apa, kalau kata list dia panjang, awak kena ringkaskan. Eh, uh, tak perlu terlalu detail. Okay, you don't have to, to go very detail into it. Okay, but you still need to include some information lah to make it more apa to make it interesting but you don't have to include too much information eh? right um read this writing task and underline four things that you must include in your review will you have to describe your own experience on the holiday as well as give a general description yes okay so uh, kalau kata awak buat review you have to do it like that Okay, first you have to describe it and then you have to give your opinion. Okay, so uh, this is an example question. Okay, contoh soalan eh. So, review wanted holidays for teenagers. We want reviews of holidays designed for teenagers. Okay, your review should include information about the place, the food and the activities and what activities they are. Okay, would you recommend this holiday to other people your age? Okay, the best review will be published in our magazine. Okay, so tadi saya sebut 150, sorry ya, eh, salah eh, 190 maximum. Okay, eh. so as long as you follow this number of words, then your uh, then your review should be okay lah, eh, tak terlalu panjang.
So here ada berapa tugasan dekat sini. Perkara yang awak kena include. Okay, the things that you have to include in your essay. Number one is uh, information about the place. Okay, itu perkara pertama yang awak kena masukkan dalam karangan ni. Eh? Uh, information about the place. The second one is the food. Okay, what type of food did, uh, do they serve? Okay, apakah jenis makanan yang disediakan, yang disajikan uh, dekat tempat tu eh. A place where you go holiday, you go for holidays uh, as a teenager eh. Uh, and then uh, you also have to include, you have to, you also have to talk about the activities that you can do that. Okay, perkara aktiviti yang awak boleh lakukan. Uh, di tempat bercuti tersebut Ok so dah tiga dah eh Pertama information um, Information about the place tu apa Mungkin you can you can share with us The location uh, of the uh, of the place Ok um, uh, letak dekat mana eh Where it is uh, located uh, The food Ok makanan yang disajikan Yang disediakan And also the activities That you can do that And the last one, would you recommend this holiday to other people your age? Your age, eh? As a teenager. Okay, as a teenager, would you uh, would you tell people to go to this place? Uh, okay, so that's what you have to do. Four things. Eh? Empat perkara yang awak kena tulis dalam karangan jenis review ni lah. Okay, so you write your uh, write your review 140 to 190 words. Okay, so kita tengok dekat sini ya. Eh. Ini contoh karangan dia. Okay, teen village. Okay, the place to go. Would you enjoy staying in a beautiful place with lots of exciting things to do? If so, Teen Village in Southern Spain is the perfect holiday destination for you. Okay, so we have, uh, kita dah ada maklumat sikit pasal tempat tu dekat situ. First, nam, uh, the, the place is called Teen Village. Okay, the location is Southern Spain. Okay, Southern Spain maksudnya uh, di belah selatan negara Spanyol. Okay, Spanyol lah, Spain. Uh, is the perfect holiday destination for you. Situated next to a lovely sandy beach, the hotel is a circle of comfortable wooden bungalows. In the center, there is a campfire area where meals are grilled every evening. Okay, when I was there, most of the guests relax around the fire until late chatting and playing guitars. This can be annoying sometimes if you want an early If you want an early night. Okay, so uh, itu perkara pertama yang uh, penulis ni kongsikan. Okay, the, the first thing that this writer is uh, is writing. Okay, it's uh, information about the uh, about the place. Uh, okay, first dia kata ada, it's situated next to a lovely sandy beach. Okay, terletak di sebelah uh, pantai. Okay. Eh? Uh, the hotel is a circle, so uh, daripada situ kita dah nampak gambaran kan. Okay, hotel tu jenis yang uh, bulatan, dalam bentuk bulatan. And then dekat tengah-tengah dia tu ada camp, ada campfire. And then the rooms are located uh, surrounding the uh, campfire. Okay, mengelilingi uh, apa bulatan uh, ni tu lah yang kat tengah-tengah campfire tu kan. Okay, so kita dah nampak dah kat situ eh. Hotel tu macam mana. Uh, and then, uh, the the hotel, the rooms are actually wooden bungalows. Okay, so bungalows tu apa? Rumah banglo eh. Rumah sebiji-sebiji. Uh, and it, it is made out of wood. Okay, in the center, there is a campfire area where meals are grilled every evening. Okay, so dekat campfire tu adalah tempat dia uh, masak makanan. Okay, dan makanan tu di grill lah. Eh, dimasak secara grill. Okay, di, di uh, dekat campfire tu lah. Um, most of the guests relax around uh, the fire until late chatting and playing guitars. This can be annoying. Okay, so uh, this is additional information. Okay, if you if you are looking for somewhere that you 
uh, what to just sleep the whole day uh, so this is not the place for you lah eh? right uh, and then the second thing okay so we move on to the third paragraph okay the evening meals are simple mainly meat or delicious fresh fish served with a wide variety of salads however the hotel has uh, the, the hotel also has a cafe that serves huge uh, cooked breakfast and other snacks to keep you going all day <coughs> okay so dia bercakap pasal uh, in the third paragraph this writer talks about the food uh, the food that is available for you at the at the place okay so dia kata uh, the meals are simple mainly meat or delicious fresh fish okay so you can either eat meat daging ataupun ikan ikan segar eh? so with a wide variety of salads okay so they're serving healthy foods okay however the, the hotel also has a cafe okay so aside from the uh, grilled food you can also buy food from the cafe uh, and then uh, there's also breakfast there and also snacks to keep you going all day okay so enough about the food so second information fulfilled okay dah ada maklumat tentang makanan dekat situ okay so first tadi information about the place the second one is information about food and then the third one is about activities kan okay so we move on to the fourth paragraph during my stay most people choose from a daily program of extreme sports lesson such as hand gliding and sand sailing we spend a wonderful morning scuba diving around an old shipwreck in the bay okay uh, so uh, activities okay the things that you can do that first extreme sports lessons such as hang gliding and also sand sailing uh, itu benda uh, activity antara activities yang awak boleh lakukan extreme sports Another type of uh, sports that you can do is uh, scuba diving in the morning, okay, uh, at the old shipwreck. Okay, so dekat kawasan tu ada, mungkin ada kapal karam. Okay, so uh, you can uh, go there, uh, do a scuba diving. Okay, because normally around the shipwreck location, normally there's a lot of fish there. Okay, so you can uh, see a lot of fish lah, boleh tahu banyak jenis ikan. Okay, so uh, activities settle. Okay, dah tulis dalam karangan tu. And then last one in the last paragraph. I wouldn't recommend Teen Village to couch potatoes. But if you are an energetic party animal, then this is the place for you. Okay, so awak tahu eh. Uh, last tu dia kata, saya recommend eh. Uh, this person recommends uh, this place but only for those who want to do activities okay uh, kepada mereka yang nak melakukan pelbagai jenis uh, activity okay activity yang extreme okay so uh, this kind of uh, people orang-orang yang macam ni uh, sesuai tinggal uh, sesuai pergi bercuti uh, ke tempat ni lah okay for those uh, apa dia kata couch potatoes maksudnya orang yang kaki bangku lah eh uh, in BM we call it kaki bangku so for those who want to take a holiday just to sleep in okay untuk tidur saja eh uh, pergi hotel check in dekat hotel and then terus tidur tak bangun sampai besok pagi uh, those kind of people are not uh, apa orang kata not recommended lah eh Uh, pada yang macam tu tak sesuai lah pergi ke tempat macam ni uh, itu maksud dia ya. Okay, so based on the essay and the question, do you think this writer have included everything that is needed? Adakah penulis ni dah me, dah menulis uh, tentang perkara yang diminta oleh soalan? Uh, what do you think, guys? Is everything included in this essay? If you ask me, yes. Okay. Semua perkara telah dinyatakan, telah disentuh oleh penulis. 
Okay, so empat perkara yang nak disentuh tu pertama maklumat tentang lokasi, kedua makanan, ketiga aktiviti dan keempat. Okay, the fourth one is your recommendation. Okay, so everything is being touched by this, uh, by this writer. So this is actually a good example. Eh? Right, so so far ada apa-apa soalan tak? Do you guys have any questions? Okay, we still have few minutes more to go. Ada apa-apa soalan? Kaitan dengan review? Ada? Tak ada eh? Alright, so we move on. Okay, kita uh, sambung sikit lagi and then I leave you with your work here. And then we can end the class, okay? So now answer this question about the review in five. Okay, does the writer answer all four points asked for in the task? Yes, if you ask me, uh, the writer answered all the questions, okay? Semua perkara telah, uh, telah dijawab, semua soalan telah dijawab oleh penulis. Okay, are uh, any negative comments made about the holiday? No. Uh, there are no uh, negative comments about the holiday. Okay, circle the two phrases used to introduce the writer's own experience. Okay, so um, apakah frasa ataupun perkataan yang digunakan untuk uh, ni, untuk uh, bercakap tentang ni lah, experience dia eh. uh, during my stay. Okay, uh, that, that is one Uh, one phrase uh, that uh, that the writer use uh, to introduce uh, his uh, apa orang kata experience pengalaman dia eh, during my stay and also another phrase that the writer use is um, uh, another one is um, uh, when I was there okay so those are the two phrases that the writer use okay to start okay to introduce the writer's own experience okay number four uh which tense is used to describe the writer's own experience okay so kalau awak baca eh dekat karangan ni dia bukan uh, bukan semua present tense okay because when you are describing something you need to use present tense Okay, but uh, apa, bila awak menceritakan tentang perkara yang dah lepas, okay, tense tu bertukar. Okay, contohnya dekat sini, eh, nampak eh, the hotel is a circle of comfortable wooden bungalows in the center there is a campfire. As you can see, uh, semua tu present tense, present tense, present tense. Okay, tiba masuk dekat sini, when I was there, uh, tiba dia bertukar kepada past tense. When I was there, most of the guests relaxed around the fire until late chatting and playing guitars this can be annoying sometimes if you want an early uh, night ok so awak perasan kat situ uh, kat situ sekejap je dia bertukar kepada past past tense ok ni disebabkan oleh uh, maksudnya karangan tu dia boleh jump eh daripada present tense ok present tense digunakan untuk uh, apa describing the place Okay, but when the writer is uh, sharing about his own experience, then the writer will go back to a uh, past tense. Okay, uh, so macam tu lah, eh? right? Uh, and then move, moving on, um, which tense is used to describe the hotel in general? A uh, present tense lah. Eh? Uh, in which paragraphs does the writer recommend the holiday? Which is uh, that is in the last last paragraph. Eh? What kind of teenagers does the writer recommend it to? Okay, the people, okay, uh, apa nama? Teenagers who are energetic party animal. Uh, okay, so people who are active lah. Eh? Teenagers who are active and uh, want to do a lot of activities. And not for those that we consider to be, uh, apa orang kata, couch potatoes. Eh? Couch potatoes eh, orang yang kaki bangku. Right. Um, okay, your review should include facts and opinions. Okay, read the following descriptions and then underline the adjectives that describe opinion and the circle and circle the adjectives that describe fact. 
Okey, uh, kat sini kalau awak tengok opinion, uh, ini perbezaan antara opinion dengan fakta. Eh. So, kalau tempat, okay, if it's a location, then it's a fact. Uh, but if uh, it's about whether it is nice or not, whether it is lovely or not, adjectives lah senang cerita eh, di, uh, bukan adjective, adverb. Okay, uh, the adverbs are mostly, uh, apa orang kata, uh, kita panggil adverb or adjective, uh, those are rather opinion. Okay, uh, so nampaklah perbezaan dia kat sini eh. So, a lovely sandy beach. Okay, so sandy beach is a fact. Okay, sebab uh, dekat pantai mesti berpasir. Okay, lovely ni, uh, this one is a opinion. Uh, okay, so yang mana bulatan, yang mana garisan. Uh, underline the adjective that describe opinion. Okay, and uh, the adjective that describing a fact. Okay, so lovely ni, uh, underline and then circle, sandy lah. Okay. Lovely underline, sandy circle. Because sandy is a fact. Okay, dekat mana-mana pantai sekalipun mestilah ber, berpasir. So, lovely ni is an adjective that that uh, that is rather an opinion. Okay, maybe dekat orang ni dia kata lovely. Tapi dekat orang lain, orang mungkin uh, this, uh, the other people would not think it's lovely. Okay, so it's a pendapat eh. A comfortable wooden bungalows. Okay, so comfortable is the opinion. Wooden is the fact. Eh? So comfortable, you underline. Wooden, you would circle. And last one, huge cooked breakfast. Okay, huge is a opinion lah. Okay, uh, apa cooked is a fact. Okay, uh, takkanlah orang makanan tak. Jasa makanan tak masak eh. Okay. Uh, and then last one, I think this is the last activity. Uh, now complete this description of summer camp for teenagers by writing two adjectives. One showing your opinion and the other showing a fact. Okay, so <coughs> yang ni saya akan include dekat awak punya ni lah. Latihan nanti saya nak tengok macam mana awak buat eh. And then last one is the uh, is the part where you have to write your own essay. Okay, so review one third. Summer camps for teenagers. We want review summer camp for teenagers. Your review include information about the place. Number one, the food. Number two, uh, what you can do there. Number three, and would you recommend it to other people your age is number number four. Okay, so you can follow the plan here and also use uh, the words in the language, language bank. Okay, so... Uh, think about your essay and also the uh, the exercise in 8. Okay, so I will provide you with the Google form for you to do this activity later. Okay, so do you have any questions before we end the class? Ada apa-apa soalan tak berkaitan dengan topik hari ni? Okay, don't worry. I've, I've also recorded this session but uh, cuma tadi tak sempat dari awal. Saya uh, So, awal tu ada miss sikit. Okay, so nanti saya akan includekan sekali video lesson ni dekat dalam Google Form untuk latihan. Okay, ada apa-apa soalan tak? Topik hari ni. Do you have any questions? Class? No. No, eh? Okay, so kalau ada apa-apa nak tanya nanti boleh tanya saya melalui WhatsApp atau Telegram. Okay, thank you for coming. Okay, jangan lupa isi attendance. Uh, later saya akan share link untuk uh, latihan topik hari ini. Okay, thank you class. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you sir. Okay, you're welcome.